What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pop Guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Today guys, we are going to do a video that, you know, I talk about every month and I'm actually kind of starting this out as a series. So we're going to be talking about pops that I believe are going to be expensive here in the near future. And now I did a poll over on Instagram and I asked you guys kind of your thoughts and your opinions on what things might be going up in price soon or might become expensive. And this could be due to a number of different things. It could be due to the fact that um, there's new pops coming out in the line. There also could be, you know, just recent trends, recent topics, um, recent news kind of thing. And it could also be related, you know, to like television and movies if there's a new movie coming out. So guys, without any further ado, let's talk about this month's pops that I believe are going to get expensive. Okay guys, so we've got some good ones on here. So let's start off with a line that's gonna be coming out very soon, whether at the end of this month or in October, Retro Toys. And now with this Retro Toys line, there's a lot of different really cool things coming out with Mattel and Hasbro. There's like uh, Mr. Potato Head, for example. There is uh, from Operation Cavity Sam, the, the main guy from the Operation game. Old G.I. Joe stuff, old uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle things. And I think there's a couple of other ones. There's like Rock'em Sock'em Robots or something. But I think this is going to have a little bit of a correlation to some of the older Monopoly Pops going up in price. So we have a couple of different ones of the Monopoly Pops. There's the original Monopoly Man. I think it was a Walmart exclusive. There's a couple other ones that were Funko Shop exclusive. So there's one that's all like silver metallic kind of thing. And, um, and then there was another one that he's holding like a money bag. I believe, you know, this is just my opinion, that those are gonna be expensive because there's actually new Monopoly Pops coming out in the line with the Retro Toys ones. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, I can't guarantee that these are gonna be, you know, upwards of like $100 or whatever, and gonna be like mega, mega expensive. But, you know, I think people are gonna be like, oh, you know, there's these old kind of related Retro Toys Monopoly Pops, and people are gonna be interested in them. It'll be interesting to see, you know, what it goes up to. But, you know, I think it's gonna be, you know, a little bit pricey, and it'll be interesting to see how expensive those Monopoly Pops get because of the new Retro Toys line coming out. One that I find interesting, um, and I don't know if they'll make like new pops for this, but there is a new Scream movie, Scream 5 coming out. And I think this is gonna have a direct correlation to the old Ghostface pop going up in price. It already has, I wanna say it's in the 80s, $90 range or something right now. But um, with that new movie coming out, and I think they're bringing back the original cast, if I'm not mistaken, with that. It'll be interesting to see, you know, if they have um, new pops for that line or if they just don't really do anything for it. If, if I'm Funko, I, I bet there's gonna be new pops for that movie. But Ghostface, the original one, be on the lookout for that. Um, it's already going up in price and I could see it going up even more, entering, you know, that $100, mid $100 range. Who knows, it'll be interesting to see what happens to that one, but that's one to be aware of. In recent news, uh, The Walking Dead, the TV series just came out and saying that they're ending at season 11. And I believe that's gonna happen in 2021. So this might have a correlation of those old Walking Dead pops becoming expensive. Now, and I can't really pinpoint, you know, which ones will become more expensive than the other ones. I'd probably have to say like more of the like original ones from like, when they came out relating to like seasons one, two, and three or whatever, that are a little bit harder to find now. I think those ones might be the ones that actually end up being expensive, but who knows, you know, there could be some other like wild card characters in there. Um, whether it be like Negan, you know, he was introduced like kind of down the line and so he's not necessarily a newer pop or whatever it may be, I'm not sure. This could possibly as well have kind of that Game of Thrones effect as well. Um, where some of the pops actually went down in value, but it, it'll be interesting to see. I have a good feeling that some of the pops will get it raise up in price with people, you know, um, the nostalgia running high with Walking Dead. But um, yeah, be aware of those ones. I think that will be an interesting thing to see and to see what happens with that. Let's do a couple more here. Um, some of the old X-Men pops. And now this one is, I think, out of pure speculation for me, you know, Disney is requiring you know, I mean, they already acquired the license to like X-Men or whatever to use in their Marvel Cinematic Universe. So um, I don't know. I mean, they've been coming out with um, new X-Men pops relating to like the movies, you know, with uh, like Hugh Jackman and stuff. So yeah, those movies or whatever have been getting pops. So I think um, with correlation in that, 
and possibly new X-Men movies and stuff coming out with the Disney license, um, that those old X-Men pops could be going up in price. There's kind of like two different waves of like X-Men pops that are older. There's like the, I think they're like yellow box, I believe. And then there's the blue box ones. So I have a feeling, you know, some of those ones could be going up in price. The blue box ones are pretty old, but the yellow box ones are even older. So. Be on the lookout for those ones, and um, those could get expensive, at least in my opinion. And this last one I feel like is gonna be pretty obvious. There is a new season of Mandalorian coming out. I believe it's actually in October. It's coming out very soon. And so uh, the uh, pops honestly aren't super old, but I feel like some of those pops that came out originally are gonna get expensive. There is one that's like a New York City Comic Con one that's actually, I wanna say it's like somewhere in the $100, $200 range, and that could even go higher because of the new season, a lot of hype is surrounding it. Some of those exclusives that were harder to find too, um, back in the day, I can't really pinpoint, I can't think in my head right now, like which ones specifically that I can think of are gonna go up in price, but with that new season of Mandalorian come out, expect some of those um, original pops or whatever from season one to go up in price, and. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of different ones going up in price, not just like the specific, you know, Comic-Con related ones, but overall expect, you know, a rise in price in the original Mandalorian Pops. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this month's edition of Pops that I feel like are going to get expensive that you should buy as soon as possible if you're looking for them. Uh, let me know in the comment section below some trends or maybe some that you think are going to go up in price due to whatever it may be. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give a big old thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching again. Thanks for your input as well over on Instagram. Be on the lookout for another one for next month if you want to participate in that. But guys, thank you so much for watching again. You guys are the best. Remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.